My mom keeps asking me what kind of clothes I want for my birthday. I don't want clothes. I want action figures. Hey, Charlie, maybe you should take your mom over to that store. Check it out. Viral invaders from the planet Flutopia. I love that movie. Was it any good? I didn't get the story, but it had great special effects. These action figures are super cool. Now that's a birthday present. It's gross. Gross is in the eye of the beholder. You're right, and I've seen enough. <laughs> You're powerless to stop my invasion! <laughs> Strange. Lawrence isn't here. He never misses school. It must be that flu going around. Hey, Angela isn't here either. This could turn out to be a nice day. Oh, you spoke too soon. Hey, it's Viroid! <laughs> Ew, George, that's so gross! Oh, George, that's so cool! <laughs> George, apologize to Charlie. Instead of apologizing, can I play with Viroid for a few minutes? Forget it. Charlie had it coming. So you never let anyone touch it? Angela and Lawrence got to see it yesterday, but not Charlie. No way. Well, once again, Viroid will be hiding out inside my desk. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> <laughs> to infect! Hand him over, George. Can he live under my seat? All oh, right. But that's where he stays. Okay, we'll start with biology and discuss the human organs. May I be excused? I'm not feeling so well. Go ahead, George. I know how you feel. What's the big deal? I'll tell you in the schoolyard. He may be listening. I know why so many people are coming down with the flu. Uh, I don't, but I know I sure feel like tossing my cookies. I was afraid of this. Come on, let's get Charlie to the school nurse. Please, nurse, you've got to look at our friend. He's been infected by... Oh, no, not another one. They should declare this flu epidemic a town emergency. Did you notice that the people who got sick today were all in contact with a viroid action figure? It could be a coincidence. Miss Gatto could catch a virus from working too hard. But not Charlie and George. Oh, that's true. My vampire senses are anything but clogged. We gotta find out what viroid is up to before the whole town's infected. Excuse me, has anyone complained about the Viroid action figure causing illness? Nah, these are guaranteed to be safe for even the roughest of play. I think these figures are portals for the real Viroid from the planet Flutopia. He's making people sick so he can... He can... He can do what? I'm not sure, but don't panic. Mona the Vampire is on the case. I'm not convinced. I mean, look at the clerk. He's fine. And he's probably handled dozens of viral action figures. <laughs> Another recruit joins the slave ranks. After the incubation period, you'll be sick enough to travel with me to Flutopia! More recruits. Now do you believe that Viroid is infecting people with the flu virus? Yes, but why? So they can easily be transported to planet Flutopia. We need to arm ourselves against Viroid's next invasion. There, these protective vitamin C crystals should keep us safe for a while. It's too bad Charlie didn't take this. I wonder how he's doing. Me too. I think we should pay him a visit. Charles' 
was really sick with the flu. We need to talk to him right away. I'm sorry, but I don't want you to catch his flu. He's so sick and sleepy, he seems a million miles away. I'll have him call you when his fever breaks. Did you hear that? A million miles away! You think Viroid's got him? There's only one way to find out. Again. It's time to take Charlie up to Flutopia with me. No! If I was just a little. For now. Mona, I touched the Viroid action figure. Does that mean I'm next? You took the protective crystals, but they're not foolproof. This guy is powerful. I think I need a good night's rest before we start saving everybody. Good idea. See you at school tomorrow. <laughs> Where is everybody? Where's Miss Gatto? Where's Lily? Due to the flu epidemic, class is cancelled for today. It's Viroid's sickly deeds at work again, Fang. There's only one way to deal with Viroid, and that's on his own turf. <laughs> what happened to the regular guy? He's got the flu. Who doesn't? Say, do you have any more Viroid action figures? <laughs> sure. must compliment you on your stamina. I could use someone like you on my planet, Flutopia. What do you have in mind? How about slave supervisor? Hmm. When do I start? Right now! <coughs> so, this is how you transport your slaves. A little gross, but it's efficient. <coughs> Let's go! <laughs> Welcome to the planet Flutopia! Impressive slave collection! Your job is to keep them scrubbing our nasal caverns. Don't worry. I'll keep them all under control. Excellent. Excuse me while I restock my vapor reserve. Keep working. I have a plan. What? I said, keep working, you slaves. Join the rest of the slaves. Curses! My reserves need recharging again! <laughs> Can we talk about this? You blow your chance, and soon you'll be blowing your nose! Think again, Viroid! Topia will be liberated! No! Ah! Yeah! All right. All right. All right. Wait! I need to go home! Mona, what? Where am I? 
Mona, you caught that dreadful flu virus. Your father found you wandering home in a cold sweat, mumbling about an invasion. Viroid! Yes, dear, you have a virus. Your father's out getting you some more orange juice. But he left you a get well present. <gasps> Watch out, Mona the Vampire. The day you forget to drink your orange juice, I'll be back. Better to be a slave to orange juice than a slave to you. Scrambled brains are great, Dad. Could use a little blood sauce, though. Blood sauce coming up for the lady at table one. And voila, at your service, madame. Thank you. Some poor bird doesn't try eating that toast. Hey, who's that? Is it Halloween already? Ah! <sighs> Bob. Lousy day to be a postman, huh? But you know what they say. Neither rain nor sleet. Yeah, whatever. Here's your mail. Uh, thanks. You know, the whole world might come to a stop without postmen. Or postwomen, for that matter. Every day, the same route, the same houses, the same barking dogs. Now, we certainly appreciate it. All except the bills, of course. <laughs> I hope you find today's mail interesting. Hey, here's a letter for you. That's strange, Fang. There's no stamp on it. And no return address, either. He or she who breaks the chain has nothing but ill luck to gain. It's up to you, a wish or a curse. One is the other, and the other is worse. A chain letter! Oh, no. This is the ultimate in bad luck. This is serious, Fang. I have to continue the chain by passing it on to two other people or suffer the consequences. It says here I have eight hours before the chain is broken. That only gives me until four o'clock today. Can you believe it? A chain letter. It's like the worst omen you can get. I wonder who sent it. I don't know, but I've come prepared to fight the forces of bad luck. Salt? But isn't spilling salt bad luck? Well, yes. But if you throw salt over your left shoulder, you ward off bad luck. Well, well, look who the cat dragged in from the rain. Check out my new umbrella. It's made by that hot designer, Johnny Go Figure. Angela, no. It's bad luck to open your umbrella indoors. Who needs luck? I don't go for your superstitions. No. The chain letter must have unleashed the dark forces of bad luck. Angela, close your umbrella! <laughs> there. That should keep bad luck away from Angela for a while. Huh! I slipped on a wet spot! I'll have the janitor reprimanded for this. So who do you think sent the chain letter? Maybe it was Angela. Or even George. Not another Dijon cucumber sandwich. That's what I had for lunch last week. Nah, it couldn't have been Angela. She would have used that gold leaf writing paper she's always bragging about. And George would have sent it to you, Charlie. That's true. This calls for more research into the supernatural phenomenon of chain letters. But first, we have math class. It's a book 
look on numerology. It says that the number eight is symbolic. So, what does that have to do with chain letters? Hello? Chain links are in the shape of the number eight. The chain letter gave me eight hours to pass it on before the chain gets broken. Makes sense to me. And eight also represents infinity. As in, I'll be cursed for infinity if I break the chain. Then why not just pass on the letter? Continue the chain? <laughs> Lily, are you not Princess Giant? And how could Mona the Vampire, Zatman, and Princess Giant live with themselves if they knowingly perpetuate the dark forces of bad luck? You must rise to the occasion and fight the dark forces of evil. Hey, Bones! I've been looking for you! Whoa, gotta go! Bones! Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> Boo! Ah! Bad luck! He went under the ladder! chain is always at the base of it. Charlie Bones, you're brilliant. It makes perfect sense. And I know who the source of the letter is. Come on, we've got no time to lose. Ow! The postman is the source? Yep, it's Postman Bob, all right. How else would you explain the fact that the letter didn't have a stamp or a return address on it? <laughs> <laughs> nice doggy. <laughs> we have to follow him. Good night, Bob. See you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. How much time do we have left, Charlie? Fifteen minutes and counting. Okay, here's the plan. Hello, Mr. Postal Worker, sir. My grandmother lives very, very far away, and I would like to mail her a birthday present, you see. But I need to know exactly how much it would cost because she lives very, very far away. Whoa! How many postal workers does it take to deliver the mail? We have to find the mail room. How? I heard the mailroom is guarded like Windsor Palace. No one gets in. Actually, someone broke into Windsor Palace and made their way to the Queen's bedroom. So this should be a walk in the Royal Park. Postal Service, how may I help you? What do you mean we lost your package? Impossible! We are the Postal Service! We never lose packages! Do you hear me? Never! Stress overload. This is it. Now all we have to do is find where Bob generates the chain letter and destroy it once and for all. I sure hope Princess Giant is doing her part. Cause this might take a while. And then, when I was three, I sent my grandma my little itty bitty hat prints in plaster. <laughs> It's making chain letters by the millions! Oh! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! He or she who breaks the chain has nothing but ill luck to gain. It's up to you, Mona. A wish or a curse. One is the other, and the other is worse! <laughs> It won't be one or the other. I've come to put an end to your chain letter once and for all. Ha! 
And how exactly do you plan on doing that? With only one minute to go? Please enter your 20-digit password. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Please try again. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Enter your code. Intruder, intruder, a wish or a curse. Have a nice day. Thank you for dropping at the No! My precious chain letters! Stop! We did it, Zapman! Let's get out of here! And then, when I was five, my grandma sent me a huge package, and I thought maybe it was a Happy Sally doll. Oops, gotta go! So, does Mona the Vampire look cursed to you? No, but it looks like we can mail you to China. I'll get it. Morning, miss. Here's your mail. What happened to Bob? He had to take a holiday. He wanted our little spice to his job, so he sent prank chain letters to people. He needed to get some rest, if you know what I mean. Have a nice day. Sounds more like Bob had a bad case of postal worker disgruntleitis. Mm -hmm.